Welcome to Getting Old Ain't for Sissies with Tom Rivers. He's over 70. He's a retired big-time radio DJ. He's an old hipster. He's full of it when it comes to knowing how it feels to get old. He has the skid marks and the mileage to prove it. Now with another Getting Old Ain't for Sissies, here's Tom Rivers. Thank you, Doug Dahlgren. He's a good buddy of mine in Chicago. Hey, I ran into Doug's brother yesterday down here in San Antonio. He says, hello. Just goes to show you that speech therapy really works. Yeah. Just kidding, Dougie. Hey, how you doing, folks? Welcome to Getting Old Ink for Sissies. And that is the God's honest truth. A uh, couple of headlines, uh, just to keep you up to date. You got Apple stock. Well, it's uh, the best ever uh, for the June quarter. Uh, Fox News and PBS, the most trusted TV brands. I got to tell you a story about that here in a second. Uh, the president's approval rate, uh, 48%. The country is split on that. And uh, that's a Rasmussen poll, by the way, all right? I got to tell you a quick story about um, Fox News and PBS being the most trusted TV brands right now. Um, on my Facebook page, where you can go to uh, get your Getting Old Ain't for Sissies uh, juice, uh, I'll tell you, I was. Uh, responding to an email that I received yesterday. A getting old Ain't for Sissies listener emailed me, all right, uh, on my Facebook page. And um, it wasn't one of the kindest emails or messages I received regarding our president. Well, I dug in. And I started typing or answering this message. And uh, bottom line is, I kept uh, I kept hammering away at the keyboard. And when I tried to post the message, the good folks at Facebook wouldn't let me post my own message. I was told, go away, so to speak. We can't allow this form of speech on our turf, so to speak. The owner of this particular media will not allow this to be posted. How about that? for censorship. <sighs> Thank God for podcasts. Well, we're going to talk about a lot of different things today. I'm still hot under the collar because of that. All right, let's get to it. Here's some uh, silly stuff everyone has in common. Damn! Sing to the music while you eat something in the kitchen. Saying, hey, buddy, when you forget someone's name, lowering the music on the radio in the car to help you see better. That's another one. Secretly diagnosing everyone waiting in your doctor's waiting room. I was doing that today. And what's he got? Well, what, what's wrong with him? Or... Boy, does she look sick. Eating a family-sized bag of chips by yourself. Or, uh, you've most likely lied to the doctor when they asked about your alcoholic drinks per week consumption. Those are just some uh, silly things we do. Uh, let's talk about marriage, all right? I've got a bunch of stuff today on the Big M marriage. Would you do it again? Married men better start paying more attention to their wives. According to a survey, many housewives are getting desperate. 
More than half of 3,000 married women polled say they would not marry their current husband if they had to do it over. Mm -hmm. That's from Woman's Day magazine. The best marriage age? Getting married at 28 to 32 years of age carries the lowest risk of divorce. Really? Marriage before the late 20s or after the 30s are both linked to higher risk of divorce later on. The marriages most likely to end in divorce are between teenagers or those in their early 20s or those who get married after the age of 45. Waiting to get married until you're 25 instead of 20, for example, reduces the risk of divorce by 50%. How about that? And uh, working moms can stop feeling guilty. There is now research that shows that daughters raised by mothers with careers earn more and have better jobs when they grow up. That's from Work, Employment, and Society. It's a research journal. And I can vouch for that. My daughter in Dallas is a vice president of a company and makes a ton of dough. And she's going to be visiting here in San Antonio beginning tomorrow. Maybe I'll have her on the show. And uh, she can speak for herself on that one. I think that'd be kind of fun to have Monica on the show. Speaking of marriage again, what characteristics make a woman marriage material? Well, sociologists at the university at Albany State University of New York examined the characteristics most desirable to men, ages 19 to 35, and found a woman's ability to hold a steady job mattered more than her age, previous marriages, and maternal status, religion, or race. And if you think I'm kidding, that's from Psychology Today. All right, let's continue on this marriage track. Scientists say that people who start their days by having sex are all around healthier and happier than those who don't. Having sex in the morning releases the feel-good chemical oxytocin, which makes couples feel loving and bonded all day long. And that's from the book Because It Feels Good by Debbie Habernick, Ph.D., Debbie, I'm so glad you're getting some because there's some folks out there that ain't getting any. Obviously, you're getting enough to write a book. And uh, finally, on the marriage thing, uh, we're back to women who are earning more money. Today, women earn more than men in almost a quarter of couples that were asked. But that hasn't changed what we expect from a marriage, all right? According to this article, 71% of people say that to be a good husband, pay attention, guys, men should be able to financially support a family. Marriages can become shakier when women earn more than men if men feel insecure or women lose respect for them. All right. Speaking of uh, money, let's talk about President Trump. Did you hear that his uh, star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame was uh, uh, sledgehammered and uh, hacked, so to speak? Well, Donald Trump's star on that Hollywood Walk of Fame was really destroyed. I saw a picture of it, but it got me thinking, how do you get a star? So I went to Google, and I found out. 
Every year, the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce selects around 24 celebrities to get a star on that walk of fame. But there's more to it. Listen to this. First, someone has to nominate those celebrities. Could be anyone from a publicist to a wealthy fan. Next, they must obtain that celebrity's consent, as the nominee must sign a form stating they want a star, and they will attend the unveiling of that star. Now, if a person's application gets it, gets its uh, hello gets accepted, whoever did the nominating needs to pony up. Get this, thirty thousand dollars. The Chamber of Commerce claims that half of the cost goes into building the star, while the other half is used for upkeep. Now think about this. Perhaps it's why some of your favorite stars, like Julia Roberts or Clint Eastwood, Denzel Washington, Al Pacino, uh, and a whole bunch of other folks, don't have a star. Either way, they simply don't want one. Or they, they don't want to spend the cash. I know a few folks that have been in show business for years and don't have a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. So, 30K. When I first heard that figure, it used to be 15,000. Now it's up to 30. Yikes, that's a lot of money to have your name on a sidewalk where people will either spit or take a leak or your dog will leave his mark. <laughs> anyway, uh, what else is going on? Oh, speaking of that, did you know the average life expectancy of a toilet is 50 years? We just changed out a toilet in the house here. Didn't get 50 years of use, but supposedly the average life of a toilet is 50 years. Not only does sex feel great, it has a variety of health benefits. It boosts your immune system, lowers your blood pressure, reduces the likelihood of incontinence in women and prostate cancer in men, and raises your pain threshold. Really? Reduces the risk of heart attack and helps you sleep and ease stress. So, grab your partner, swing her down. Looks like we're gonna get it on. You know, while scientists don't exactly think they uh, have a sense of humor, rats uh, will laugh if you uh, put them on their back and tickle their tummy. Just thought I'd throw that in there. Uh, spend about 10 minutes a morning uh, praying to keep your loved ones happy and in good health. That's a good idea. Researchers from uh, my favorite university, Baylor, found that thoughts and prayers that focus on helping others are calming and uplifting for the person offering them. It's from Woman's World magazine. And uh, if you want more time in your life, get ready for work faster. 38% of women spend longer than 30 minutes getting ready in the morning. It's also true of uh, 21% of men. That amounts to 7.6 days spent preening over the course of a year. Now, we're, we're ready for the last story. This is a good one. Have you seen the new movie Mission Impossible Fallout yet? You should. It's a great movie. Tom Cruise, the movie star, says, Thank you. That's the way he talks in real life, you know. Uh, or to be more accurate, his bank account says thank you. Tom Cruise is filthy rich, really rich. The actor is worth an estimated $550 million. Excuse me. The actor is worth an estimated $550 million. Of course, this pales in comparison to the amount of money his movies have made other people. The films starring Tom Cruise have made an adjusted gross, and I certainly am, uh, how do you read this, 
billion six hundred and forty five million 